Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Ricardo Ramos versus Julian Jose J. Erosa. Ricardo Ramos, 16 and 5, 2 and 3 in his last five fights, minus 175 favorite, 28 years old, 5'9 with a 72 inch reach. Uh, is like win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win one, lose one. Started back in uh, about a little over three months ago, lost to Laurel Murphy. That fight was actually back and forth up until our. It was weird because Laurel Murphy, out of nowhere, was able to just finish Ricardo Ramos. Got back on track against Bill Algio. He's a tough guy, not a you know top fifteen, top ten guy. And then came back and beat Turganov, uh, uh, lost to Turganov, beat Danny Chavez, Danny Chavez with a spinning back elbow, and then lost to recently uh, Charles Jordan guillotine choke. Crazy finish by Charles Jordan five months ago. Fighting Julian Erosa, who's 28, uh, wins 11 losses, 3-2 and two in his last five fights. On a two-fight losing streak, nah, Julian, J, Julian J is not... Um, it's not something he's uncomfortable with. He's lost before. He's been on a losing streak before. Plus 150 underdog, 34 years old. 6-1 with a 74 and a half inch reach. 2 and a half inch reach advantage for Erosa. He'll be the much taller, much bigger man. The issue I have with this fight is Julian J. Julian Erosa will be susceptible to his the spinning back elbow to Ramos at times. He will be there to be hit because that's that he's good in those dog fights. Now he lives by the sword and he dies by the sword. That's that's the reality. You know, Julian E. Rosa is one of my favorites. I, I, I really like him. I appreciate his his style. I like it. One of my favorite moments is when he fought Sean Woodson and he's losing, he gets knocked down, he gets up, throws a flying knee, and then on like a couple days notice submits Sean Woodson with a uh, uh, Darce choke, I believe it is, and it's just to see the, a guy like Erosa uh, fight in the UFC, this is I think his third stint, have some success, more success this time than ever, at 34 years old, we all know that the road is closing, it is almost done, I don't, I hate seeing Julian um, lose just because it might be it, you know. Um, I want Julian Rosa to win. This has potential to be fight of the night. It's all upon how does Julian Rosa's durability um, hold up in this matchup because he fought Alex Caceres and was caught with a head kick very early and was finished. Then came back and fought Fernando Padilla and just kept getting dropped and dropped and dropped. Whether it was a short, uh, an early stoppage after he had dropped the second time, I don't know. I. I don't know. He was hurt real bad the first time, so I, I don't know. Padilla looked awful the fight after Erosa, though, which is wild to me. But because Erosa is there to be hit, his defense is a great, which, again, it does open up his submission game. So a very, very nice bet to sprinkle just a little bit on is a submission by Julian Erosa. There's a possibility he can make a dog fight in somewhere in that in those transitions. This is the only man to ever submit or finish Charles Jordan. So submitted him with a darts. So we know how good Charles Jordan is and how good his uh, submission defense is. We understand this. So if he can catch him, he definitely can catch Ramos, who just caught Ramos. So I'd sprinkle a little bit on some submission uh, betting with Julian e. Rosa, But my official pick who wins this matchup. Ricardo Ramos by knockout. <sighs> Prove me wrong. Please. Prove me wrong. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let's talk about it. Peace.